All right, lads, the SBI uh, Big Sip Beer Review. And today's review is a favourite of mine. A drink, I do drink quite regular. And it's this beauty. It's a Wrexham Lager. So I'm not going in blind because obviously I do, or oh, I am a drinker of the Wrexham Lager. Um, I tend to pick up four bottles a week. It's four bottles for six quid in my local um, Morrison supermarket. So I'd pick four up when I do a, a food shop. So yeah, um, uh, I've only just started beer reviewing, really. Um, so I do watch a lot of the reviewers on YouTube. And I'm yet to find any reviewer to, to do this or review it, as I should say. Uh, I'm not the best. <laughs> I've only just started out, so I do apologise if... Someone is looking for the Wrexham Lager. Can only find my review, so I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, I've been out for a bike ride this morning. Done a chuck a ten miler in. Took the nephew, so I'm gonna sit out the back garden now, sink a few lagers. But um, I'll review this one first. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Wrexham Lager. It's coming in four percent on this bottle. A three thirty mil bottle. Um, I did a slight research on it. Um, it's won a few awards in the World Beer Awards in 2017. So, like I said, I, I know what it tastes like. But, um, yeah, this is for you lot. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very, very nice tasting. Obviously, if you're not going to win an award like that if it's a poor lager. Eel. So, the Wrexham Export Lager, we're coming in at 5%. I do believe the cans are 4%. I don't know what, I never tasted a can, so I don't know what, how, if, if they do taste slightly different, I'm not sure. Um, it's not a lot on the bottle, it just says, brewed a Wrexham Lager Beer Company. Contains malted pills and a barley, so, oh well, that's how it goes, eh? Oh, ho, ho! Oh, nice glug. Nice glug on it. I like the glug. And another thing which uh, I do like, it's in a brown bottle, which I'm a fan of. We're looking at the Wrexham Export Lager today. Um, let's have a nose, is it? Let's have a little um, smell of him. Light, light maltiness to it, but um, it's not, it's not, it's not a standout smell. It smells, it smells, it smells quite a clean lager. It's no skunkiness or bad smell to it. So it's, it's slight, slight light maltiness on it. That's all really. Anyway, the um, carbonation is medium to high, which is rising up the glass at a. Uh, Decent pace, should I say? And we'll, it's like a pale straw color with a one finger white foamy head. <laughs> so, um, chin chin, old buddy, let's have a go. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I'm not going in blind on this one, so I've, I've had a feel for it before. Um, but I've got my review in head on. We've got a, quite a caramelly, toffee taste on the front end. That's instantly. So when you taste it, you, it's, it's, a, it's a clean, refreshing lager. It goes down pretty nice. With a, with a toffee, caramelly kick on it. That's Go in for one spot, see if I can get anything else. The back end gives a slight, ever so slight, lemony bitterness right at the end. But it don't last that long. So you've got the caramel toffee taste as you drink it. As you swallow it, leaves a... Uh, Slight ever so lemony bitterness to it, but that don't last that long. So that's just maybe two, three seconds. 
one more sip. Another thing as well, it's not gassy at all. So you can probably, when you're drinking a lot of lagers, if you're a lager drinker, some of them bloat you and you, you, your gassiness, you, you fill up with gas and you, you can't, you, you tend to like, you can't drink a lot of it. So, but that, it's not, it's not gassy at all. I know in the north and down in the south Wales, south part of Wales, but in the north, this is everywhere. And they reckon it's not in pubs, on the old pumps, everything. Um, so down south, it's quite a struggle to get it. I know you can order off the website, um, which uh, only takes a few days to come, but I normally pick it up in Morrison's, but they don't stock a lot, to be honest with you. Maybe 10 to 15 bottles maximum on the shelf, and maybe have a delivery once or twice a week. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's have a big sip bolt on ability. <laughs> Oh, easy to drink. Goes down a treat. So I've just done a um, just a ten mile bike ride. So that would have gone down easier than others. But uh, no, it is. It's not hard. The bolt is fresh. It's um, what can I say? That is one of the best lagers out there, which I currently drink in. Because, like I said, I'm quite fussy with my lagers. And I've gone off a few. I used to, I'm not going to name them, but I used to drink the quite popular lagers around here in the um, in the UK. And I've totally gone off them. Um, I'm yet to review them on the channel, so it's a little hint of uh, you can narrow it down to what um, I'm trying to get at. Yeah, so I'm rating this now. Um, the Wrexham Export Lager, myself personally, it's a eight and a half out of ten because I keep going back to it. It's something about this lager which I keep going back to it every week. Go on, I'll have another four. Go on, I'll have another four. Yeah, that's an eight eight point five out of ten, I think. Beautiful. I do recommend that if you've never tasted the Rexham lager and you struggled, if you've never seen it in any shop, just go on Google, type in Rexham lager. Um I think they come in boxes of 24. So have a little look at that if you're interested. Um, yeah, I do recommend it. All right. Thanks, boys. More reviews to come on a future date. Cheers.